Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be my top 10 stocks as we head into Tuesday, March 21st. This will be a technical analysis breakdown. So if you are someone that uses charts within your trading, or maybe you're just interested in learning more about charts and how they can be used as a tool to help make good decisions as a trader, this will be a video for you. Real quick, a couple of clarifications. Number one, the price you see over there will be changing and the candlestick you see right there will be moving around. That is because the market's still open for a small amount of time, but I do these videos when the market is still open because sometimes we can capture some really interesting late day price movement. And second, I'll be using the 30 minute time frame, meaning each one of these candlesticks here represents 30 minutes worth of time. So stock number one here, FRC, and the beat down continues. How much so? Well, the price is actually now at lows compared to where they were previously, where it bottomed out here a couple of times, right around that 1850 mark. So price broke down below 1850, and you can see, I mean, it put up a fight. So here it bounced, there it bounced, and then right here, early part of the day, put up a fight, but ultimately failed below there. And I go through all that because this is what's gonna bring about our first key level of resistance moving forward. And that's just based on a foundational rule in charting, which states when levels of support are broken and closed below, they tend to act as resistance. So if there is any sort of attempted bounce, 1850 is going to be that first key level, you know, give or take right around that area uh, is the main area of resistance. And if the price can push up through there, then you're also going to want to continue to watch that purple line there, the 50 period moving average. But one step at a time, first got to see if the price can get back above that 1850 mark. In terms of, terms of levels of support, what I'm curious about is, let's do a ray here actually, because we have this tread line here that's starting to form. And that is this tread line right here. So I'll actually, I'll make that a little thicker and then make it green for support. But very curious about if the price comes back down, what does it do down around this area, which puts the price right around $9.90. If you wanna just call it $10, I, I wanna put up much of an argument for there. But what happens there? Because you can see now we have a couple of data points. So it's really just a question of by using that data point, and that one, is that gonna forecast some sort of bounce in the upwards direction? No guarantees, but at least there, there's some you know, logic, there's some rationale that goes behind that area. So if this movement down continues, very curious, can it bounce around 990? And if it can, then that's where you focus back on these areas of resistance. Next one, LYLT, huge move today after Friday, which was not looking good at all. I mean, literally just a day where it essentially went straight down and then that opening 30 minutes right there, you can see big move up. Sure, the price has pulled back, but in doing so has now formed an interesting pattern here that you gotta think a lot of people are watching. And that pattern being, we have that area of resistance, and then we have our support area down here around 15 cents. So again, let me change that to green to represent more so the support part of the pattern. And then to keep it all the same color, let's try to, or make it easier to see, let's keep it all the same color. So we have our resistance, we have our support. We have the big explosion right there. A few golfers will make it a little bit more visual, put our golf hole down here. So this would be known as a bull pennant pattern. While there are no guarantees, is it plausible to think that if the price can get itself back up to this area and get a break up through it, that that break in and of itself could create additional buying pressure? That's certainly a plausible outcome. Once again, not a guaranteed outcome, but it's rational to think that way. So if you like penny stocks, if you like bull pennant patterns, definitely keep an eye on it. Next one here, LFCR, very, very impressive move when you think about where this thing closed back on Friday. A little bit of a gap up and then has really shown signs of strength. And then as I speak, last 30 minutes here, good solid green candle once again. So let's map out some key levels. First key level, at least from a support standpoint, it's gonna be, in my opinion, down here at the $2.25 mark. And that level is very important. I'm not saying this will occur, but for example's sake, if the price were to come down here and then just continue on down, what would that be doing? That would essentially be putting the price right back to where it was. And I mean, not to insult your intelligence, but price movements that go back to where they were, not exactly a sign of genuine power, true strength, but to be fair, nothing can go straight up. So maybe the price does come down here, the difference being behaving in that manner before starting to work its way back up. Now all of a sudden, what would you have? Well, you'd have a set of lows there, you'd have those lows down there, and if you envision each of those as stair steps, well, now you have stair steps making progress in the upwards direction, and that's the name of the game. That's what a truly strong move is gonna do. Not go straight up, but at least show signs of progress. And again, in this situation, the quote unquote sign of progress right there at 225. In terms of areas of resistance, main battleground to watch, as I've talked about in a previous one, right up there, that purple line there, 50 parrot moving average current level right there at $3.60. But again, that is a moving average. So that level will continue to move downwards as time goes on. But all in all, very, very impressive bounce. So let's see if the price can, can continue to show those signs of progress. Next one here, AMC. And on the bright side, at least this thing has started to go sideways and that may seem like kind of setting the bar pretty low, but 
Uh, it, it kind of is, but I mean, think about it. Before, it was just one low after another low after another low. But like I said, at least it started to go sideways, which now brings about and makes very interesting this level right here at $4.10 because, of course, no guarantee. But is it at least plausible now to say that this could be the bottom? Yeah, absolutely. It's bounced off there several times. Price has been going sideways. So it's not some sort of random, you know, just irrational thought to have that 410 could be the bottom because you have plenty of data now. You have plenty of... I, like I said, uh, analysis here to suggest that it could be the bottom, keyword being suggest, not guaranteed. So as far as support is concerned and important levels moving forward, $4.10 will be a very important level. And then the other level that I'm curious about in the very near term is right here at this area, basically top part of the channel here that is seemingly forming right there around $4.38. So moving forward, maybe th this is what we're gonna have, just some sort of sloppy up and down, up and down, you know, inside of this sideways channel here. So that could very well be the case. But to be fair, the price is closer to the top of the channel. So maybe there's gonna be some sort of technical pattern breakout to the upside of the sideways channel. But to really just encapsulate this very quickly, if someone were to ask, the best way to, like I said, summarize this would just be the 30 minute time frame sideways channel pattern. Next one here, NIO, very, very impressive opening part of the day. And now we have some key levels to watch. First level is gonna be back to that think to the progress point and how you know truly strong moves are gonna make progress forward, not go back to where they were. So I'm not gonna repeat all that because I just talked about it, but same general concept here. So we'll call it the progress point, but the quote unquote progress point on this one right here at $8.40. So as long as the price stays above that level, then you can argue that those stair steps are being built in the upward direction, or in other words, the price is showing signs of progress. So keep an eye on that 8.40 key level of support. In terms of levels of resistance, two main battlegrounds. Yes, you have this overall high up here at $9, but I would argue before you put too much emphasis on that, let's first see if the price can get up above this pink line there which is the very famous, the very well-known 200 period moving average currently valued at, let's just call it $8.80. But no doubt about it, monster move today. Still has plenty of opportunity to show those signs of progress. So let's see how the week continues to play out. Real quick, want to take a break and personally invite you to get signed up for this free live online training that I'm offering later on in the week. So if you've been enjoying what you've seen and you want to learn more about this tool, how it can and should be used to build consistency, to manage risk, then certainly get signed up for the free training. If you're watching on YouTube, there's a link down in the description box. If you're watching at my site, there's an area right there on the webpage that you can click to get signed up. So like I said, if you've been enjoying, then definitely get signed up for the free live class. Next one, RIOT. I've been following this one pretty closely and overall, Good solid move here as the uptrend continues, higher highs and higher lows. So nothing, and I say this in a good way, nothing really exciting to talk about because the thing just continues to grind higher and higher, which as I show here, it has been a long, long time since the price been up this high. I mean, we were talking about multiple month highs and as I go even further, you can see that the price has not been up this high in a very, very long time. So that's always encouraging to see when prices are pushing up to territories uh, that have not been seen for an extended period of time. As far as areas of resistance are concerned, pretty straight, straightforward headed into Tuesday. Got a key level and a stubborn level, I, let's call it right up around $8.70. You can see this level from back there on uh, Friday and then showed up several times today. So you gotta think that a lot of eyeballs are watching that level and when a lot of eyeballs are watching the same level and wondering the same thing, call it a self-fulfilling prophecy, call it whatever you want. It can produce some very dynamic movement. So no guarantees, as I've said about 10 times now, but the price comes up here and breaks through that level. More than valid to think that that could in and of itself create a bunch of buying pressure just because people are buying. Well, hey, I'm a breakout player. Hey, that's breaking out. Oh, I'm supposed to buy and people will just buy. In terms of support levels, level here, that's pretty interesting. Gonna be this little tread line right there. So again, change that to green to represent more so the support part of the pattern and then to keep it all one color to illustrate the pattern here that has formed. So resistance, support, upwards move. This is very kind of crude, but you get the idea, another bull pennant pattern. So I know our other bull pennant was a penny stock. Here we have one that's a little bit pricier. So if you like bull pennants on this price range, here you go. Next one, TSLA Tesla. And this will mean a bit more to those of you that have watched the video from Friday. And I'll turn this into a quick plug for that free class. Definitely get signed up because just this is a perfect example of the power of charts. But like I said, this will mean more of those that watch previous videos, but you know that I've been talking about that red line time and time again. And what a surprise. Look right where this huge move up happened to get rejected and go back down right at that red line. Again, the power of charts. Definitely go get signed up for that free class. So that remains a key level of resistance here moving forward right up there at the 186 mark. Now, even if 186 is broken, you gotta be very careful because now not that far away, 
Overhead looming is that pink line there, the 200 period moving average valid at 187. So just keep that in mind too. In terms of areas of support, in the very near term, you're gonna wanna keep a close eye on that purple line there, 50 period moving average valued right now at 180.170. And then if that level is broken, then the more so overarching level is gonna be down here at that level, which sits at 176.50. You can see several times back here, found some support. And then again, surprise, surprise, opening 30 minutes, dropped down to that level, and then got a really nice bounce from that level. So you could argue, and I, I wouldn't debate against you, that yeah, pretty much, it looks like Tesla is essentially just in a sideways channel pattern here over the past several days. So it's just a question of, you know, which way is it finally gonna break? And, you know, we'll have to kind of grab your popcorn and grab your power, Sour Patch Kids and see what happens. Next, INM, and got ourselves a nice pattern here, which I've talked about before, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on it because you've heard me go through this before, but we have a resistance, we have our support. So let me change that to green and then we'll make it all the same color. So maybe you already know what pattern I'm gonna draw here, but resistance, support, big upwards move, golf hole down here, have ourselves another bull pennant pattern. So we've had a penny stock bull pennant, we've had a stock up around $10 mark, bull pennant pattern, and now we have a stock right down below the $2 mark. So if you like this price range, then you have yourselves. We have a great variety of bull pennants headed into Tuesday. Next, ALLR, and yes, this is a, a pretty ugly looking chart, but for you longtime viewers, you know what I'm gonna say next. There can be opportunity in the ugly. You just gotta make sure that you're disciplined. So yes, no doubt about it, this thing has pulled back quite a bit of ways, but it did demonstrate today that it can move and it can move very quickly. So if you're somebody that likes to play those moments where a lot of people are probably giving up, waving the white flag. Then there's a very interesting level down here at the 13 cent mark, where if it bounces, fantastic. If it doesn't, then that's where risk management comes into play because you don't want to get stuck and then become some sort of bag holder where it drops and drops and drops. But from a risk reward standpoint, meaning relative to what's being risked, the potential upside reward, you can really structure something very nicely in your favor. So if you like to play these sort of situations where it is indeed looking ugly, but the price is down you know, at some very interesting levels in this case, you have that former breakout point, you have the 50 period moving average, does not guarantee a bounce. But once again, it goes back to, is there at least some plausibility that it could bounce? Absolutely. So you're gonna wanna keep an eye on 13 cents. That in my opinion, at least is a very interesting level. And like I said, if you don't get the bounce, if it continues just bleed and bleed and bleed, well, that's why stop losses exist. But if you do get some sort of bounce, then hey, you could be looking at a nice little risk reward scenario. Next, TQQQ, which is an ETF that measures the NASDAQ. So if you believe the NASDAQ market as a whole is going to rise, this one will also rise. Big difference being this just allows you access at a much lower price point, which makes it a very popular ETF. And all, all in all, nothing really new. Now, of course, things happen, but broadly speaking, the price just continues to chug along that green line, which I've talked about before. So you can see earlier on in the day that held as support right there, held as support. Uh, so like I said, from that standpoint, everything is still perfectly fine. You still have that level up there around 2575, which isn't really close to being threatened. So nothing has changed in that regard. Although the level that I do want to add in out of curiosity is very, very apparent now that there's a quite the stubborn level right here at about 2490 in terms of areas of resistance. You can see rejected, 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 rejected. So you get the idea. For whatever reason, several sellers have shown up right around that 2490 mark. So that'll be you know priority number one in terms of areas of resistance. But then yes, if the price can push up through there, then you have that secondary resistance up there to keep an eye on. But one hurdle at a time, like I said, that first hurdle, hurdle right there at the 2490 mark. But all in all, all it's just consolidating, right? Had the big move up, pulled back and now it's just consolidating. And the key is it's consolidating at a higher level and that's the name of the game. As long as that progress is being shown, that's what you wanna see. So that wraps up the top 10. Again, if you like what you saw here, then I want you to get signed up for the free class. Like I said, it'll be later this week, Thursday, March 23rd at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So I hope to see you there. As far as the top 10 videos are concerned, if you enjoy these, please do two things for me. Hit that like button, leave a comment below. Tell me what you traded today. Tell me what you're watching tomorrow. But those two things help out the channel, help out the videos, and I really appreciate it and thank you in advance. So again, get signed up for that free training. Hit the like button, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.